Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and this is a Beer Brief. If you're unfamiliar with what a Beer Brief is, a Beer Brief is a brief beer review. I try to aim five minutes or under. My regular videos are about 10 minutes. I talk a lot about beer, but these ones I try to be a little bit shorter. If you are familiar with what a Beer Brief is, welcome back. Let's take a look at this one. This is Moe's from Mothfire Brewing in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Moe's is a hazy wheat IPA. I know that because it says it right here. This is a 6% single hopped IPA. It is a Nelson Sauvin hopped IPA. And uh, let's talk about the label for a quick second. I love Mothfire's kind of ombre or gradient, whatever you want to call it, kind of color schemes that they go after. This one reminds me of a nice kind of summer sunset. I'm sure that's what they were going for. So let's go ahead and grab a Tiku glass. I picked this one up at the Mothfire Brewing location on Industrial Drive in Ann Arbor. You can find this at some local select retailers. So keep your eyes open on their Instagram because they'll tell you where they are. Let's go ahead and crack this and put a nose on it. Has a little bit of a dank aroma. What I would expect from Nelson Sauvin. It smells almost kind of um, like grapey, like whiny almost. Let's go ahead and pour it. Coming out pretty cloudy out of the can. Collecting in the glass. I'm going to pour a little bit more aggressively to churn up more of that head. We've got a little bit, to me, because the light spot in front of what I'm looking at, it is a little bit kind of a darker yellow down the center, uh, but it is quite golden. Looking from your point of view, from what I see, it looks like it's more of a brighter kind of yellow. The head is about, I'm getting about mm, a finger and a half of a little bit. There's dense bubbles on the top, but it's kind of spaced out on the side. If I look from the side, let's go ahead and hold it up to the light here. And yeah, I can see... I can see through it. It is quite hazy, though. Let's take a, a sniff out of the glass here. Yeah, same kind of aroma, a little bit of a, um, again, it's kind of like a grapey aroma. A little bit of a, it has a bit of a strong aroma, actually, but let's go ahead and try it out. That's, we're, we're here to talk about the taste. I'm going to talk about the mouthfeel first, though, but cheers. Mouthfeel is very light. Very crisp. It has a very nice, refreshing mouthfeel. This, it, I would liken this to something like, a, just like a lighter IPA. You're get, this is like almost like a mower IPA, at least in the mouthfeel department. It's very crisp. It has a nice, light, refreshing flavor. Let's take a taste, and I'll tell you about the flavor itself. It carries, like I said, it has that kind of grapey aroma to it, but it also has a bit of a grapey flavor to it as well. It has a little bit of almost a citrus kind of quality, but on the back end, you get like that tannin kind of um, bitter kind of grape flavor. Like if you were to chew on a grape peel or something, you know, you put a grape in your mouth, you eat the fruit out of it, the meat out of it, but the when you leave the peel and you kind of chew on that, you get a little bit of that kind of bitter tannin kind of flavor to it and it has that kind of just kind of general overall flavor this being a wheat ipa it has a little bit of that kind of um lighter mouthfeel as well it has a little bit of that crispness you get a little bit of kind of like a lighter feel because of that kind of wheat characteristic of the ipa it almost has like a white wine kind of feel to it, again, because it uses Nelson Sauvin, which is a little bit of a lighter kind of hop uh, varietal, you know, you get, it's more of a kind of a grapey hop varietal, so you'll, you get that kind of all throughout the flavor, and that wheat, you know, element of it adds a little bit of a lightness to it, I think that kind of adds to the crispness, it adds to that refreshing kind of quality, think of a wheat, just a wheat beer, beer but with, you know, more kind of hopped IPA kind of flavors in there. This is not, definitely not like a West Coast. You're not getting those super strong, bitter, piney, citrus kind of notes. You're getting a little bit of a citrus kind of bitterness, but I think the bitterness almost comes through as more of that, like I said, that kind of great peel, uh, great flesh kind of flavor. That's what's giving it more of that bitterness. Super refreshing. Again, this 
Like I mentioned in the mouthfeel department, this is almost like a mower style IPA. It's low ABV. I mean, 6%, you know, how low can, it, it seems like 6% nowadays is pretty low, but you know, we think of IPAs, double IPAs are almost the standard. We're getting to like eight, seven, you know, 9%. Uh, but this being 6% is a little bit on the lower end. I feel like this is something that you could use as kind of like a mower IPA. If, if you didn't want to go so something so light as, as like a low, um, low ABV IPA, thinking of something like a lighthearted, you don't want to go that low, but you want to have some fun. You want to have a beer that has a little bit of a different kind of flavor to it. This, you know, there's not a whole lot of IPAs on the market that go after this kind of flavor or single hopped at least with Nelson Sauvin. So I appreciate that Mothfire went in this different direction to bring you an IPA that kind of features different flavors than what you're kind of probably generally uh, used to tasting. Again, this is definitely for the warm weather that we've been having and the warm weather that we will probably have for the next couple months. This is perfect for that. So this has been Moe's from Mothfire Brewing in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Check them out. They're on Industrial Drive. I know right now with all the kind of, you know, pandemic uh, situation with all the different, um, you know, restrictions on, on places, I know that they're selling out of their tap room. They also have, uh, they're, they're selling their beer, actual beer, like pours of their beer at uh, York, which is nearby. I'll leave some information about York in the description below. But yeah, that has been Mothfire. This has been Moe's from Mothfire, a really nice, again, a really nice, refreshing summer style IPA that you could just have a couple of and just wet your whistle with and, and not have to worry too much. It's 6% not something terribly, you know, high ABV wise. So anyways, with that being said, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>